All right, the, the, the next section of the, the program is one that I enjoy the most because I get to work with my partner, uh, Chef Carol Durth from Sizzle Works, the cooking school in Bellevue. And Carol, you got sake salmon sake with sunomono, salmon. right? Sunomono, which is a I Japanese cucumber salad. This is one of my all-time favorite meals to okay. put together, and it's very simple, really flavorful. So when I make this dish, first I start with the cucumber. Okay. Um, I have this really great little mandolin here. This is the poor man's mandolin, which gives me really thin slices exactly of cucumber. Exactly the, the thickness Aren't those you beautiful? want, right? Yes, mm -hmm. they are. And then we put these cucumbers into a colander and sprinkle them very liberally with salt, and so we allow the them out. to drain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happens is that it draws the water off, mm -hmm. and then. Through the magic of television, <laughs> we have a lot of television magic yes, here. Yes, we do. Um, they get really soft and they start looking like this. Oh, yeah. See how they've changed? Mm -hmm. So we've drained oh, the water so off good. of these. And that takes about 15 minutes for that to happen. Could I borrow that towel, please? Sure. At this point, because we've drawn the water off now, if we put some dressing on these, it's going to okay. just soak it right up. So let's make some quick dressing here. Okay. Um, actually, before we do that, I want to get one more thing started. We're going to take half a bottle of sake and put it half into a half a bottle, about half two cups. Bottle. We're going to put this right into a skillet or a fairly wide pan because the more surface area you have, the faster this is going to reduce. And we're going to put this on high heat, bring it to a boil, and let it bubble away. It's going to take 15 to 20 minutes. It's going to get to a syrupy consistency. Meanwhile, we're going to add a little pinch of sugar to that, just a pinch. Okay. And a That's pinch a salt, of yep. salt. And we'll let that cook away. And in about 15 minutes, it's going to look like this. Oh, OK. See how it's started to get yeah. a little bit caramel golden, mm -hmm. and it's just beginning to thicken up. I don't want that to get overdone, so I'm going to turn it off. Good. So we'll finish this up. And in this bowl, we're going to put some rice vinegar. Now this is just plain rice vinegar, not the seasoned kind because we don't want sugar and salt that we don't know how much is in there. We're going to add sugar and salt. This way we'll know how much sugar and salt we're actually mm -hmm. getting. Actually not a whole lot. This is very no, nice. No, that doesn't have any sugar this and salt. This is very in. nice. We're going to put our sugar in there, a bit of salt. We'll give this a good oh, stir. Oh, that smells so good. And we'll stir this around till the sugar and salt dissolve. And then to this, we're going to add some freshly grated ginger. Oh, boy. So we're going to put the ginger. Mm -hmm. Actually, we'll grate the ginger right into here because it'll be easier to get it into the bigger bowl. And you can put as much or as little ginger in here as you like. I'm kind of a ginger fan. Yeah, I love the smell. And you know, ginger, again, is another one of those things that's really good for us. Really? Yeah, and it that adds virtually know. no calories. So we'll get that. You bet. We'll put our dressing right in here. That smells so good. Uh. And I want to give this a good toss. So this is a great dish to prepare, you know, maybe an hour or so ahead because mm -hmm. remember I said those cucumbers are just going to soak up the dressing. You know, my mother used to fix a, a cucumber and a sir, onions onion. cucumber with, with that onion. cucumber mm -hmm. type salad dressing and uh, I could make a meal out of it. It's, I, th I thought it was great. Mmm. Smell that. Yeah, it's that's just amazing. Good. So we'll just put those there. All right. All right. So we have our sake going here. And right here, I have a skillet that's heating on pretty high heat. We're going to sear some salmon. So I have two beautiful salmon you fillets sure here. Aren't these beautiful? Yeah. We want to get a little bit of oil in the pan. Okay. Do you use any particular kind of oil? Um, for this, I'm just using an oil that's not going to add a lot of flavor, like a corn oil or a peanut oil. Um, you could use canola oil if you like. <laughs> you don't want to add something that has a lot of flavor, like. Um, and olive oil because it's going to compete with the Asian flavors right, that are in this particular right. dish. And when the oil starts to shimmer, which I think we're just about there. Yeah, I think it is too. We're going to put this in. Now you have a pretty side to the salmon and a not so pretty side. Mm -hmm. Goes in pretty side down. Oh, okay. Pretty side always goes in first. 
And then when you pull it out, you've got the, the good side up, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So that's our salmon. It's going to take about two minutes on each side to be beautiful and golden brown. We get our presentation plate ready okay. here. And we have, remember we talked about the earrings for the outfit. That's beginning to look pretty good. So we have an extra little bonus that's only in the book for those people who get the book or the DVD. There's one more thing that goes with this recipe and that's wasabi mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes I do anyway. Too. It's I kind do of too. like you and potato salad, yep. mashed potatoes, that's yep. my thing. Yep. So these are wasabi flavored mashed potatoes. So and we're kind we're of cooking get, up a whole meal here. We aren't are. We? We've got a whole meal here. And it was really pretty fast. Oh All right, this is my. ready to turn. Uh -huh. See that? Let's get some potatoes on our plate here. Okay. Boy, they. Uh, and one for us to taste. Yeah. They are nice, smoother looking than most of any, any uh, mashed potato I've seen. Beautiful, nice mashed yeah. potatoes. That's because we use a ricer. Uh huh. Check our salmon here. Looking fine. Yep, getting there. So these green onions I sliced on the diagonal, uh -huh. I love or green on the bias, depending on how you uh, how you talk about that. And I do it that way because, number one, it's very, very pretty, and it's also sort of an Asian way of doing things, which yes. just continues the theme through my entire plate here. And if you cut it that way, you're getting more flavor. Because mm -hmm. you have more, more surface area. Yes. More surface area exposed. Okay, we're going to give it another turn. I have a hunch that's not going to last too long here with our volunteers here in the, in the room, uh, or me. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's just coming along real nice. Look at that syrup. See there? Uh-huh. It's nice and thick. It's going to be great. So, sumimono is one of those dishes. This is actually is sort of a leftover from making sushi. When you make sushi, oh, really? you make um, a syrup kind of dressing like we did mm -hmm. with the rice vinegar, and you put that on the rice because it makes it stick together and hold its shape, and it also flavors the rice is it, is that goes into the sushi. Rice? Well, sticky rice is what you start out with, but oh, then okay. you season it with all these things. Yeah. And typically you have some of that syrup left over. Also, you use the peel of the cucumber to put inside the sushi, so you have all the wow. cucumbers left over. Put the dressing on. Look at that, George. Is that gorgeous? <laughs> I think that. Uh huh. All right, are we ready to eat? Yes, indeed. Okay, so we're going to take this one, and we're just going to. Ah, I was wondering how you're going to get that on there. I right thought maybe pour here. it over, and then I saw the oil. The, uh, oil oh my. Put it right there, like that. We'll glaze this one. Doesn't that look beautiful? And then a little extra glaze right on top. Put some cinnamon on the side. Right there. Could you put some on the side of this one? Oh, absolutely. That's and again, the earrings on the outlet, on the outfit. We're just about out of time here, here and are. I got to taste this. I just, actually, I want to taste those, uh, those cucumbers as much as I want to taste the salmon. There you go. Mm. Those cucumbers are tremendous. So if you want the wasabi mashed potatoes, you're going to have to get the book or the DVD. Mm. Come on over for dinner. The telephone number for the best food you've ever had in your life is 1-800-443-1999. And if you don't call, guess who's the loser on that? You are, because you're missing out on some of the best food. And it's not high priced, and it doesn't take an hour. We did how many? Eight, 12 recipes here? Oh, a in, lot. You know, in four hours. So most people were taking 12 minutes to get theirs done. You can do it too at home. 1-800-443-1999. Call us.